Hi, I'm Carrick. We get a lot of inspiration from nature. The clothes we wear, the works of art, the example surrounds us here every day. But we can also learn things from nature, like designing, inventing, and building things. Today we're in Missoula, Montana to visit the Biomimicry Institute. They'll show us some new ways to find inspiration in nature. Come on! Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure, is brought to you in part by Sustainable South Shore, a chapter of the Massachusetts Climate Action Network. Today we're talking with Brian e. Schwann, the director of the Biomimicry Institute, about how we can find design inspiration in nature. Can you tell us what biomimicry is? Biomimicry, well, bios means life or biology. And mimicry means to imitate. And so it means to imitate biology or imitate nature. So what so when we talk about biomimicry, we're talking about people who are engineers and architect architects who design buildings and engineers that design bridges and cars and all kinds of machinery and chemists who design the chemicals in our world. They instead of coming up with the designs in their head. They actually look to nature for examples of how to design something. That's what biomimicry is. Here's a really cool example of biomimicry. How a company that wanted to make waterproof, stainproof fabric got the idea from a leaf. Can you see how it balls up? Whoa. And it just runs right off the leaf, and the leaf doesn't even look wet. That's, it didn't really feel wet either. No. And the reason is because this leaf has tiny little microscopic bumps on it that stick up, that they're so tiny your eyes can't see it, but dirt sits on top of that and then when water comes along it just rolls right off. But now I want to show you how people are using this in a product. See this fabric? Mm -hmm. um, when you, This is one that hasn't been treated and see how it just gets wet when you put it underneath the sink? So if you were to spill your tea or coffee or juice on a chair, it would stain it. It would get it would get wet. But now this is a piece of fabric that has been um, the surface has been treated the same way that the leaf is. Watch what happens when you put water on it. See how it runs off? How the fabric doesn't even get wet? Whoa! Look at that. It just runs right off, and the fabric's dry. Here are some other cool biomimicry solutions. A non-toxic waterproof glue that was created by copying the thread-like tentacles that blue mussels used to hold on tight to rocks in the ocean. A car that was inspired by a fish? This bionic car copies the shape of the boxfish, which makes it stronger, lighter, and uses a lot less gas than other cars. A new way of making paints, makeup, and fabric that copies the microscopic structure of butterfly wings which instead of using toxic chemicals to create color, reflect light to look a certain color. A house inspired by termites? Termite mounds in the desert never get too hot. So, this apartment building in Zimbabwe copied the structure of termite mounds to stay cool, saving the builders three and a half million dollars. Fans designed to be like seashells? This spiral shape is found in many places in nature. Fans and pumps designed in a spiral shape use a lot less energy and are much quieter than regular fans. It sounds like a no-brainer. I mean, sh shouldn't the first question designers ask be, well, where is it in nature? It is pretty much a no-brainer, and you would think that, that. But, you know, sometimes people think that we're somehow separated from nature, but really, we are nature. We're just a different kind of animal that lives in nature, and yet we've become a little bit arrogant, and we think that we know how to do things better. But the important thing to remember is that all the things that we see in nature, all the animals and the plants and the insects, have been here for a really, really long time. And so they've had to adapt to their environment, and so their design has been tested and tested for an incredibly long period of time. To see more examples of biomimicry, like how they copied a humpback whale fin to make wind turbine blades, or how they used the pointed shape of the kingfisher to design a high-speed bullet train, check out biomimicryinstitute.org.